Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how to perform relational and logical comparison using a Spring Expression Language. So this is the part of the Spring Expression, expression Language video series. So let's go ahead and create a Java project. So right click over here, new java project and give a spring el here with logical a spring el with logical comparison click on the next and finally click on the finish button now let's add a, a spring related jars in class path so add library user library and here is the user defined library now right click over here and change the compiler version 1.7 now let's create a first configuration file a spring configuration file so create the name as Install.xml. Let's copy uh, XML top type from existing example. So so this is our XML file. Now let's create couple of model classes. First is model class with package com dot info take dot model and this model class in name called mark sheet and this class contains some property like private integer integers first is the marks in math and marks marks in physics marks in chemistry and let's add a student name as well private string create corresponding public theater getter methods now let's create one more model class it's called uh, examination result so e examination result this guy contains two fields private boolean has passed and private string result message Let's create corresponding set of getters method as well. Now let's configure this client, this configuration file. So in it so. For 
first class first we have a class is called mark sheet so copy qualifier name and give the id as mark sheet and this class has some property <coughs> property have a public setter getter method so we can apply the setter versus dependence injection to initialize the property value so first property we have a spend name suppose spend name is shown now mark marks in mathematics suppose we got marks in mathematics 70 out of 100 something like that then marks in physics ninety and marks in math chemistry Sixty-five. Now next, uh, next uh, bean we have uh, is called examination result, right? So copy qualified name, and here in this bean we are going to use Spring Expression language. Now this guy has two property, right? Thirty value. First property we have a hash passed, it's a boolean value. The second property we have a result message. Here we are going to use a spring expression language. I will write the spring expression language before that here I am going to uh, configure two bins first bin is the past message past and second would be filled message And what will the class name? Class name is Java dot lang dot string. And here, this is a, a string class, and a string has some constructor, so we can make use of the constructor uh, uh, constructor injections. And here. Can use uh, value tag. Value. Same code we need to replicate in this bin as well. And of course, this is the same class. So, we can. so here, message we can pass message like. Congratulations, you have passed like this. And here, sorry, you have failed. we have done now explain expression language we have to write it here right so here we are going to use uh, logical operators so here uh, this is a bean whose ID is marks it using this bean we can retrieve these properties so here I'm going to write 
marksheet dot marks in mathematics so here greater than equal to 30 sorry 30 30 and we need to write operator like uh, and we can make it of and marks it sorry again marks it dot marks in physics greater than equal to 30 again and marks it dot marks in chemistry greater than equal to 30 If a student got uh, marks more than 30 in every subject, then we want to print uh, message as as uh, uh, this is uh, you have passed, right? We want to passed. So just we are using the turn learning operator else you would like to print message as a sorry I failed okay and we have a another hash passed so hash passed is a boolean value right so simply this will return true or false right so simply Now let's create a client program. So let me copy one client program from here itself. So copy and paste it over here and make some change over here. Uh, this is the client program which we had created in previous example. So context dot get bin and we can make use of this guy and we can ask for the bean whose id is examination result so i do this and here you need to pass the class name class this will return you this class and here you can print the message message and one more getter method is there which will print the boolean value so let's run this application so we are getting an error let's check what is the error uh, no and suffix okay there is some error in the so guys i mean i'm i'm running out of time time so let's continue these things in the next video session